What's up? This is Matt from Work Hustle Freedom, and today we're going to answer a question that we get quite a bit. It's how to add additional Shopify color swatches. Um, we're going to look at an example of this right here. So let's say you have a print-on-demand store, and there's a variety of different colors that can come in so many different weird names. And sometimes Shopify doesn't have, or your theme doesn't have, a swatch that corresponds to that color, and so it won't show up in your store like it's available. Like, for example, in this store it says Sangria. Well, Sangria is actually a bright pink, but in this example store, there's no swatch for Sangria, so it's just pulling in this default gray, which can cause some problems. Number one, your customers may think that it's simply not in stock since it's not showing up as a color. Um, and that can be a problem. Number two is it's an example of a color that you have that a customer potentially could buy, but they're not going to buy since they can't see it. And so that's something that we can address pretty quickly here. It's gonna take a few tools. Um, they're all free um, and we'll go over it really in depth so you can get it done really quick. So let's take a peek at a few tools that you're gonna need. They're all free, like I said. Um, you're gonna need a Chrome extension called Color Pick Eyedropper. This is a tool that I use all the time, so I think you're gonna find it valuable outside of this example. You will need the free swatch template, and of course you can create your own, but we've just made it a bit easier for you by including a, including a template in the description below. Just click on the link and you can download it there. And then you'll need GIMP or an equivalent software. Now we recommend GIMP simply because it's free. We know everybody can't afford Photoshop or doesn't wanna spend the money on Photoshop, and then, um, in actuality, Photoshop is a bit uh, complicated for what we're going to do here. GIMP will work fine, and so we're just going to take a peek at that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to www.gimp.org, and then if you go down to the little quick menu here, Downloads, you can download GIMP to your computer. Uh, it does work on uh, Mac or PC. Uh, we've, we've used it on both. And then once you get that installed, click the link uh, below in the description to access this free template. This one's called Charcoal. You'll probably see it down there. So just download that. And we'll do that right now. And then if you just right click on that file, on the swatch file that uh, is called Charcoal, and click Edit, uh, Edit Open in GIMP, you'll be inside of GIMP looking at this little small um, swatch in this case. In this case, our swatch is 55 by 45 pixels. So now all we need to do is go back to the um, design, the color that was giving us an issue. So let's click on it and show it. So you can see it's pink. We've bl um, blurred it out obviously because this is on, a, um, on one of our stores. And then you're gonna wanna grab the uh, color uh, pick eyedropper. So just go to chrome.com chrome.google.com to the web store to get an extension. This is color pick. It's just called color pick eyedropper. It's this one here. So as you can see, we have it installed, but all you want to do is add it to Chrome. And then once it's added to Chrome, it shows up in your bar up here. All you need to do is just select it. And then it'll, as you drag it across your browser, it'll basically show you the HTML code for the various um, colors that are on your screen. So now all we have to do is just find uh, a spot on our shirt, in this case, that basically represents the overall color. Now obviously there's some shadowing, so you don't want to really pick a shadow area since that'll look darker than it actually is. So you want to get an area that's uh, preferably not wrinkled if it's an if it's a, um, apparel piece. So we're just going to highlight over that area and hit the, uh, click the mouse and then that shows our color. So then we're just going to control C to copy it and open up GIMP. And then all we need to do here is go in this first layer and just copy paste that color right here. Hit OK and you can see now it made it pink. And then we go up to our pencil tool. Make sure your brush is the full fill not just this faded one. And we can increase this up too and then we just click the left mouse button, hold it and drag it across. So now it's the pink color. And now, so when we, when we name this, it's really important that you follow whatever the name is here. So it's all lowercase. In this case, it would be Sangria. So lowercase S-A-N-G-R-I-A. -A. If it's a two word um, color, like if it was a dark navy or dark blue or something like that, just keep in mind it's all lowercase, but it's dark dash blue. Uh, just a little tip there. So in this case, all we need to do is 
go up to um, export as, and then we're going to call it uh, sangria. As you can see here, we have quite a few colors that we've saved. And we just export it with those settings. So now all we need to do is go into our Shopify store. And if we go, we'll start at the beginning. If you go to the online store and then go to themes. And then if you go to your active themes and click actions and go to edit code. And then once that comes up, all you have to do is scroll down to get to assets. And then here is where all your um, swatches are stored. So if you go down here, you can see charcoals here, and that's what it looks like. So all we have to do here is go up to the top and say add new asset. And then we just upload the file that we just created. So here's our swatch file. We'll just go to Sangria open and then click Upload Asset, and you can see that now it's here. And so it's right here, so all we need to do is close it, and now if we go and reload our page, you can see right now it's basically gray. If we refresh it, it, it will now pull in the Sangria. So, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them in the um, comment section below. If you have any other questions you guys would like answered about um, online business, Shopify, you know, ClickFunnels, anything, we're always here to help. So feel free to reach out or leave those questions as well in the comment section below. I hope it helped and I hope you found value. Thanks a lot.